We use allocations in Business Central to distribute the amount on a recurring journal line to multiple GL accounts and dimensions. This operates in a similar way to balancing accounts. We use allocations to do the balancing for us as recurring entries do not have balancing accounts. If we're using the recurring method balance or reversing balance, then any dimension value codes in the journal are disregarded when the account is set to zero. Along with this, if you allocate a recurring line to multiple dimension values, then only one reversing entry will be created. In this demonstration, we'll look at posting a depreciation expense using the recurring general journal. On our first line that we have here, we'll enter our recurring method of variable. As we are not certain what the value will be each time, we'll encourage uh, Business Central to reset the amount to zero each time we post. We set our recurring frequency to 1M plus CM. This means that the after posting, the next posting date will be calculated at the end of the following month. Under our document number, we'll select RJ% percent for, for the name of the month that we're dealing with, DEPR. This is good for referencing the depreciation and when it took place. We'll need to specify our account number which will be our accumulated depreciation account for vehicles. And we'll specify our amount, which in this case will be a negative 10,000. So with this setup, we'll need to then go into our allocations to allocate the expenses. So we can get to that page by clicking into the allocated amount, which brings up our allocations page. We'll specify our account that we'll be allocating the values across to, which will be 8830. Now, in this scenario, we'll be looking at distributing the allocations amongst multiple departments. The idea behind this is that all departments are using these vehicles and will reflect the impact of the depreciation. So we need to specify which department we're going to assign this to, and we can do that just by selecting into the lookup value here. It's important to note, though, that this department code field may not immediately be visible. If necessary, you can go to settings and personalize to pull in the department code onto this page. Our first allocation will go to our administration. If we go all the way across to the right, we can see our allocation percentage. We'll set that to 50% for now, and we'll move to our next line. We'll copy the details from above. However, the department code this time will be for our production team, who absorb 25% of this value. And we finally create one last line for our sales team. And they will absorb the remainder of the allocation. And we can set that. We can see that the allocations have been fully set based on the allocated amount being updated. And before we post this, we'll set an expiration date to encourage us to revisit these allocations in the future. So we can set this simply to the end of the year for this demo company. At this point, we can look at posting it, and we will do that now. Excellent. And you can see the posting date has been updated to the last day of the following month, and our amount has been dropped to zero in accordance with our recurring method of variable. If we review the GL registers, and we'll make sure to select the archive here, we've got our top value here, go process general ledger and we can see the postings that have been made you can see four individual postings the initial post of negative 10000 and these individual postings against our 8830 account for the accumulated depreciation if we go to entry and dimensions we can see the exact department that it's been assigned to based on the line we're looking at And from here, we can continue on using the recurring general journal as we need to when the time arrives.